Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Crystal 2.0 by Optrell Hoods. Um, so we got the silver and the black edition. So in this video we're going to go over uh, the lens operation, what this hood offers, uh, just how to change that front lens, um, kind of different options you can get with these hoods, um, talk about how nice they are and what, what they can do. So let's just jump on in. So personally I own both silver and black. I bought a silver unit. Um, I bought it for TIG welding. And I used it for everything, flux core, stick, um, absolutely everything, TIG welding. And then I bought a black one as well because I really like that, that look of the black Crystal 2.0. Um, but I've ran both of these hoods a lot of hours, and I'll tell you what, they, they really are very, very clear. They, they stand true to what they say. Um, you, you won't believe your eyes when you put it on. Um, they are very, very nice. So let's, let's jump in and see what we come with. So we got silver and black, but just inside the box, they're both going to be the same what they come with. Um, obviously you get your manual, you get your crystal bag, you get one change out of the front lens, uh, a little cleaning rag here, and then it kind of gives you a, a little tear down on how to clean that unit, uh, the 2 plus 1 warranty on that thing, so 3 year warranty, um, so everything's in that bag. We're going to link this down below, but we do stock those as well, those new lenses and the inner lenses. Now another thing about this hood too, um, if you're, not many people do it, but if you do have to weld, use a hard hat while welding, you can get a uh, headgear for the hard hat adap adapters for this helmet, which seems crazy, right? Because we're putting a high dollar hood on a hard hat and weld with it, but we do have people that do it because they love the clarity so much. So on, the, on this hood, and you might you guys have seen some of the hype behind these, but Swiss made, Optrell, beautiful hood. Crystal 2.0. So some of the claim to fame on this has got a resting shade of 2.0. It is honestly the, one of the clearest hoods I've ever used. Um, it has a auto mold mode and a manual mode. So you can see here, we have it in auto. So if we follow the white numbers around, we got an N, which stands for neutral, and then minus one, minus two. So what it does is it automatically adjusts to the arc brightness. So if you're running 300 amps, it's going to auto darken to a you know a very dark shade, but if you're only running 80 amps, it's going to auto darken to a, a lighter shade. So it's got this auto mode, like a twilight. You don't notice it even changing or switching back. It, it's that because you're staring through it, you strike an arc, and you, my first time I ever rolled with, I didn't I didn't think it even darkened, but it, it did because I had it in auto mode. Now I've had many friends that they they have to go either plus one or minus one because they think it's too light or too dark. Not a big deal, but manual mode as well. You go 8 through 12 on the manual mode, and then you can switch it and go 4 through 8. So if you're grinding or just torch cutting, right, so you can have the 4 through 8 manual mode. And then that'll also do auto mode in that as well. You can adjust your sensitivity here uh, for the how, how fast you want it to go when it flashes. On the inside of the hood, this is the, uh, the headgear. Now everyone goes... Man, Andrew, I don't like that headgear. It reminds me of some old, uh, older style, you know, older welding hoods. I personally like that. It's nice and rigid. It hurt, fits my head very well. Got a pad on the back, pad on the front. I like the way it is. I like the way it stays up on your head, too, when you flip it up. Um, and then on the inside, the delay knob is in there on the inside. And I'll pop that lens out here in one second. But just to show you, too, if you don't like that headgear, we also have the ISO fit headgear um, and we'll link that offer down below as well but this is an option you can put on this thing so the ISO fit is, is a very comfortable uh, headgear it, it fits your it, it encompasses your whole head um, and then it just twists and tightens up like that and it grips the entire around all the way around your head I, uh, I don't run an ISO fit because I like that style headgear um, the ISO fit doesn't quite fit my head all the way but still a nice option we'll link that down below so let me pop this lens out here and I'll show you too how to get that front lens out. So we'll, we'll punch it out on the side here and it should come right out of there. So if you notice too, there's a little rubber gasket around that edge that kind of seals out all the smoke and dust and dirt and everything. So that when you click that all the way in there, that seals against that hole right around the edge. It works great. I don't have any trouble with mine. The biggest thing I have trouble with is uh, when we get into some heavy, smoky environments. But honestly, I don't think you want to be running this as a, you know, in stick. I do 
it seems to work, but not much stick. I don't have a whole lot of stick. So the way you get that out, that hood, you push up, push up on this, and I usually just grab that little button there, comes out that way, and then we're plugged in on the side here, right there. Be careful not to clang bang that around. Pull that battery cable uh, holder off, so that's a little rubber piece covers the batteries in the ADF. And what we're going to do is, I'll show you. You kind of distort it a little bit. There's a little clip, and then you stick that back through the, the hole here. It should come through. So the hood bends. Don't don't be afraid to break it. It'll bend and move and all that. So then there we go. We got the ADF out of there. And why I wanted to pull that out just to show you what it looked like. It's got a little ribbon cable. Be careful to, not to mess that. Two batteries here. So this is all your control center up here. There's the lens itself. So resting shade of two. Um, it has the widest color spectrum than any hood on the market. That meaning that this thing will, you can see a lot of real life colors or real time colors when you're welding. To get that inner lens out, pretty simple. Pop it. Pop that to the side, try not to finger it all up, that comes right out, pop your new one in, push it down, clips right in, very easy, simple to do. I'll show you on the front. So front of the ADF here, this is Crystal 2.0, let me flip that around, I had her upside down. So this is the IR detection ports. So see we got arrows pointing out, arrows pointing in, so if you're welding and, and you're welding next to somebody, and you keep getting your helmet keeps flashing because they're welding, you can narrow the port of what the, the detection is in. So, boom, now we got a smaller area of detection, so it's gonna narrow that up. So when we weld, we're gonna, it's gonna pick up our weld and not pick up our neighbor's weld. So pretty cool, you can adjust that. I leave, actually I leave all mine on the wide setting. I don't have too much of a trouble with that, but um, it'll set off by sunlight, that sort of thing too, so. It's, it's pretty nice, it's very simple, as you can see, um, but like I said, very, very clear. The 2.0 is the clearest on the market. I've, I've never welded with something that, that, that is this clear. Um, there we go. So on the outside, that's what makes this helmet unique. Everybody's on the inside on the interface. This unit, everything's on the outside, and I didn't. what I didn't show earlier is this is grind mode. So you click it, and then it blinks red on the inside of the hood, so you know you're in grind mode, and then you get out of the grind mode. Click that back open. Um, but one of my favorite things, like I said earlier, was the fact that the, the headgear is rigid. It stays up on my head. It doesn't come down like a lot of other hoods. You can adjust that as well. And then on this side too, you can see this adjustment here. Um, what that adjustment there does is it controls the in and out of the helmet on my against my nose and my face. So I can push it out and bring it in. I'm, I'm being real dramatic, but I mean, it's just minute, but it's just enough, it's noticeable. So, all in all, these hoods, they're, they're awesome. And like I said, I got a black and a silver one, and the only difference really is the price uh, between the black and the silver. This is the high heat paint, and this is just the matte black. So, silver's for high heat applications, right? It reflects the heat back. Um, and then the black one, obviously, is just, just the price difference between the two. I think they're awesome. I've welded MIG, TIG, stick, and flux core with them. I wouldn't really recommend the flux core or the stick with them because the lenses are pricey and they get goofed up during that process, but still an awesome thing to use because it is clear and it is, it's amazing. You just have to try it for yourself. Um, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thanks again for watching.